My life never changes. Every day I wake up late, running out the door with only a slim chance of making it to work before the clock strikes nine. A feat that has never happened, but never gets me fired. Alex, you're late, my boss shouts over the morning bustle. The strong smell of coffee, pastries, and people fill the small shop. The morning rush before classes is in full swing at the South Campus coffee shop. Sorry, boss. Well, get out there and manage to register. I want this horde out of here before my respectable customers show up, she snaps. I quickly pull back my hair, tucking the longest trans behind my ears before heading out to the shop floor. As the minute hand ticks closer to the half hour mark, I can feel my heart start racing. When the clock tells me it's 10.30, the best part of my day will be happening. That's when Matt shows up. Of course he doesn't know I exist. I'm only a guy who takes his order each morning, hands him his drink, and then becomes one of the crowd. But he's always so courteous and polite, giving me a nod, a smile, and a sincere thank you each time the cup exchanges hands. Like clockwork, the door opens as the minute hand hits 30. At 10.34, the only thing between me and Matt is my register and our routine. Good morning, I greet, giving him a smile. Even if he doesn't know it, he's the only person I give a real smile for. Morning, he greets back. May I have the usual? No problem, I assure, not needing to write anything down. I'll be making his drink myself, a ritual I've held every day since I started here two years ago. It'll be a few minutes. Thank you, he replies, giving me a small smile in return. Is it that time already? she asks, glancing at the clock. I don't answer her. Instead, I quickly make the large white mocha, adding an extra shot of espresso for good luck. As I go to hand it over the counter, his hand grabs my wrist, stopping me from retreating like I normally do. For the first time in two years, the ritual is broken and I find myself staring into those dark brown eyes. I was wondering, he stammers before swallowing roughly. I bite my lip, nervously, confused. Why is he breaking our routine? Would you? Would you like to have a drink with me? And dinner too? He asks, a light flush of red coloring his cheeks. Startled, I blink twice before smiling widely. I would love to. Maybe, I muse as he lets go and heads to his corner table. Change isn't that bad, after all.